guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cat Dog Plays the Attack of B Team server. Today we're on the Madhouse Asylum servers, as always, and uh, guess what? It's raining. Surprise, surprise. Well, you know, we're used to it by now. Ooh, look, I had a melon grow. I just noticed it now by looking behind me. Um, so anyway, our hat of the day is the towering pillar of hats. As you can tell, it's three hats on top of each other. Uh, this is, I think, and I'm not positive of this, I think this is a Team Fortress 2 reference. Uh, you can unlock a hat on that game that looks exactly like this, so I'm assuming it's a Team Fortress 2 reference. Another fine game. Other games are available. Um, so yeah. So today, in this horrible rainstorm that we have going on at the moment, um, we're actually going to get out in this rain, because I'll show you one thing real quick. Check this out. So, you know, it's nighttime here in Tropicraft land. Uh, when I go to bed and go to sleep, and I'm the only one on the server at the moment, when I get up, guess what? It's still nighttime. Doesn't work here. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but it's definitely odd. So, um, if you guys will follow me over here for a second, not like you have a choice, I will show you this little bit of a setup I have. As you can see, I have uh, some bamboo bundles laid out in a three by something area. I've got some dirt here. And what I want to do with this little land, little bit of land I've chiseled out, is I want to create a bamboo farm. Now, yes, we bamboo, bamboo isn't hard to come by. I mean, look how tall it grows. You can just let it grow for a little bit, and you get quite a, quite a lot of it. There's a lot to go around. But I want more than you could possibly imagine. Uh, I have a very large build project in mind that I want to do. Hopefully, the server will exist by then. But... Um, Anyway, think big, I say. So let's grab some of this bamboo. And we also are going to need a bunch of pistons. So we're going to make a chicken-powered bamboo farm. Um, this, is an, this is a build I've done before, but with uh, sugar cane. But we're going to alter it a little bit so that it collects bamboo. So first thing we need to do is go over here. The very first thing is, we need to plant some bamboo. I mean, who are we fooling? Bamboo, does bam, what? I thought it planted on dirt. Does it not plant next to sand? Or does it need to be a green grass block? Aw, oh, crap. Does this really need to be a green? It does need to be, it needs to be grass. Um, okay, let me relay this out somewhere else and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're back, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, we found a new area of land to build our uh, bamboo farm on. So let's go ahead and lay down this bamboo. We want it... What the heck just happened there? Did you see that? Stop doing that. What do you do? All right, I'm going crazy. I'm going to leave that alone for just a little bit because I'm obviously going crazy. And that didn't just happen. Goodness gracious. Did you guys see that? Wow. <laughs> this game sometimes. Wow. Okay. Uh, we got that. Let's clear out this area here. We're going to need this for the conveyor belts. Um, let's see if this will go away now. Nope. What do we do here? Let's kill the dirt. Right? That's got to do something. Put the dirt back, and we'll let that regrow with grass, and then we'll plant it. So, um, now what we want to do is take our pistons, and let's put a little piece of dirt there. And we're going to put them like so. Yeah, this will work. Piston, 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 piston. We're holding down shift as we do this, because we want to be a certain eye level. If you guys hear any little clicks in the background, that's either my mouse or my dog walking on the hardwood floor. Say hello, Gypsy. Hello, everybody. 
Uh, she speaks so pretty. Okay, so we got our pistons in place. Very good. So, um, what I'm thinking is this bamboo grows all the time, right? And ideally, I want it to harvest maybe like once a day. There's not a lot of things in Minecraft. Oh, what did I just do? Ah, oh, heavens above. That uh, do once a day. Um, we could do a daylight sensor, right? But daylight sensors uh, send a continuous redstone signal. So that means these um, pistons would be extended for the entire day. I only want them to extend once, once a day. So what I'm thinking is, you know, my, my old friend, the uh, chicken. Yeah, if you guys know chickens, and I think you do, because, uh, yeah, right. Um, let's actually build it one out like that. So I'm going to want to put a hopper here, like so. Um, let's go ahead and make like a double chest. Duh. And one more chest. There we go. Wonderful. So we're going to put those right underneath the hopper. Go away, torch. Like, oh, what happened to the other chest? Did I not make the other chest? No, I didn't. What the hell? There we go. So this is where the eggs are going to go. So this will be kind of a double farm. Um, what I'm going to do here, just so that I can place my glass that I'm going to go grab here in a second, is put a piece of dirt down. So let's go grab some glass and maybe a bucket of water. Do I have a bucket on me? Because I want the little chicky maybe to float in the water. I think that helps it from glitching out. So one bucket of tropic water. We're also going to need some glass, which we just said. So let's see what we got. We've got eight glass here. What about up here? We've got some rubber bars. We're going to need those later. Um, do I not have any more glass? That's crazy face. What about down here? What about here? I can't believe I don't have any glass. What about here? Okay, let's just take some of this hardened glass for now. I know I can get this hardened glass back. So this will just be a placeholder. Not exactly what I want to use, the most expensive glass in the game. But let's give it a try. So what I'm thinking is glass. Glass, yeah, we'll just make a cube of glass. Now, I think with this hardened glass, I can hit it with the wrench and get it right back. So if I want to replace this with just regular glass later, but honestly, this hardened glass does look pretty freaking awesome. So we might just want to keep it. There we go, hardened glass. Let's take this dirt out and let's put a this bucket of water we just collected in there. Right, is this gonna work? I don't know how this tropics water works. Oh, there we go. So, if we then, do I have one on me? I do, I have a chicken in a safari net here. So I'm just gonna place him down like so. Oh look, he's got a little TARDIS hat. Oh my goodness. I wanna kill him now just to take his TARDIS hat, but there will be other TARDISes. Does he not have eyes? That's a little creepy. Okay, so, right. So what's going to happen is once a day, this handsome chicken here, oh, his eyes are on the side of his head. Okay, <laughs> that's a little strange, but whatever. Once a day, this chicken is going to lay an egg. It's going to float down in the water and get sucked up by this hopper and put into this chest. So what we want to do is then find a way for that hopper to send out a redstone signal. The best way I know, and this is like vanilla stuff, is with a comparator. So let's grab some redstone and some sticks. And I think we're going to need a little quartz as well. We can put this uh, bamboo up for now. Uh, let's check this out. So let's make some bunch of sticks. I know at least we're going to need three. So one, a two, a three, and one, two, three. How did that not work? Oh, that doesn't take that many sticks. What am I thinking? All right. So comparator, comparator, comparator. One piece of quartz, right? And I think I just need stone for the last bit of it. 
So this comparator is going to tell me if the inventory of the, uh, what do you call it again? The hopper has something in it and shoot out a redstone signal. So yeah, that's its whole purpose right now. So we're gonna put it like that. Actually, I think I want it the other way. So maybe we can pick that up. Come here, comparator. Hopefully I can get a good angle on it right here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. So let's test this out real quick, just so we don't look like a fool. And let's throw something in that hopper and see if it shoots out a redstone signal. We need a, like a little stair here. We'll just use dirt for now. All right, so we're looking at the comparator. If I just hit Q with this block of dirt, yep, it worked. It sent out a pulse. Very good. So now that it's sending out a pulse, I need it to travel down the length of this. So um, luckily, this mod pack has Project Red in it. And we can make something called red alloy wire. So we're gonna get some redstone here. We'll put this redstone we already had back up because we're an idiot. And we'll grab us some iron. So this stuff is really cool. It's kind of like redstone, but it doesn't lose, it doesn't lose uh, its signal over time. So we got two there. Let's just make a bunch. I think we're gonna need it down the road anyway. So boom, a lot of that. So hopefully that'll make more than eight. So that's cooking up. Um, the next little thing I think we're gonna need is something called a conveyor belt. So let's look this up, conveyor belt. Convey, no, with a Y, you fool. There we go, conveyor belt. Three blocks of rubber, which you get from rubber trees, iron and redstone. We can do this, no problemo. So let's get this iron back. Do we have any redstone on us? We sure don't. Um, and let's make as much of this as we can because I think we're gonna be using it on a bunch of stuff. There we go, 64. For now, that's gonna do just fine. So this stuff, it does exactly what you think it would. It's a damn conveyor belt. So let's check it out. I want it to go Maybe we want to collect it on the same side, maybe even in the same trunk. No, that's not what we want. So let's do like that. Oh, so it goes whatever way you're facing. So I want one here. Oh, maybe I got to do it like that. Oh, that's going to be tough. Let's just try this one. Okay, good. Good. So if we jump on this conveyor belt. Ah, good. This is an easy way to place it down. Plunk, plunk, plunky, plunk, plunk, plunk. Oh, we don't want that one there. We want this one there. Very good. So anything I throw on this conveyor belt will go down the entire length. Boop. Look at it go. What a champion. So let's dig this area out a little bit. Do I have, I have my Walter Bishop excavator. Um, let's just dig these out by hand. I don't need a three by three here. Actually, we want a dirt there and a dirt there. And we'll put one like that. And one like that. Okay, we need to get some of this garbage out of our way. There we go. Let's start at the end like we did with the other one. So I want one like that. One like that. And we'll get on this conveyor belt. And ride it all the way home. Yeehaw! Woohoo! And there we go. Um, for now, that's the base basic setup for it. Um, and this is going to go into another hopper. There we go. We could put some stairs here, I think. Let's dig this out a little bit just for looks. We're going to pretty this all up later. But let's make... Do I have any more wood on me? I don't. Let's go grab a trunk from over here. And hopefully our red alloy wire is ready. So we've got red alloy ingots. Not wire yet. Let's put these stakes in here. Um, to make them into wire, I think you just do like that, right? Oh, that makes a lot. All right, we got 24 now. Very good. And why do I have my stakes back? Oh, get out of here. Okay, so we've got our alloy wire. All right. So yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and set this up. 
Oh, we need a trunk. While we're here, let's get a trunk. Here's a chest. We're going to need a double chest because I'm planning on having quite a lot of this stuff. Let's put this stuff up. One chest, please. And we need to look into maybe even making like a deep storage unit because I want a bunch of this. The project I have in mind is going to be substantial and require like all the bamboo I can get. So let's do this. We'll put the chest here. We'll put a, where this, oh, I thought I made two chests. Am I going crazy? No more than usual, I guess. Okay, another chest. We'll put that down like so. All right, we got two chests and we'll put our hopper right there. So everything that gets caught in these conveyor belts will go into this hopper. Very cool. Does this chest open? It does, very cool. So what we want to do now, and this is the last little bit of it, I'm trying to figure out a good way to get up there. Um, let's just uh, make a little bridge with this wood at the moment. We will take it down later, but I got to get over here and set up the red alloy wire. So plonk, 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 plonky, plonk, plonk, plonk. Okay, so that should, that is all set up to go. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with, oh, why did I jump over here? What we're going to do is, as you can see, it's already... Oh wait, some of this wood is going down the conveyor belts. That's funny. So did I collect a lot of my wood? None. Okay, whatever. Alright. There we go. That's set up correctly. Uh, so what do we want to do? I think eventually I do want to build a stairway over here. But for now, what we're going to do is just put an item into this hopper. And set the whole thing going. So that didn't work. Huh. Oh, I got an egg. So did the comparator not go? All right, let's take this egg and throw it in from the top and see if we can set this thing off. Hopefully this is going to work. All right, so here we go. Let's give this a try. Q. Hey, it worked. Look at that gorgeousness. And I would have to say a significant amount of the bamboo did go down the thing. So very cool. Once a day when this handsome TARDIS chicken lays an egg, uh, it's going to set off my bamboo collection unit. And look at that, 19 bamboo. Not bad. So, you know, this will be going all the time. If I wanted to, I could make one of those poppet shelves from Witchery and, you know, set it up here so it's like a little chunk loader. As far as I know, that's the only chunk loader in the game, and it's not supposed to be a chunk loader, but it acts like one, so shh, don't tell anyone. They might take it out of the mod pack if they found there was a chunk loader in here. Alright, let's get this cobble out of here. So yeah, guys, very cool. We've got a little bit of a bamboo farm, you know, and this bamboo farm could be set up differently. You know, to collect a lot of different things. Mainly sugarcane, but bamboo at the moment. So, yeah! Oh, yeah! Very cool. So, guys, um, as always, I want to thank all you handsome and gorgeous people out there for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye!